Hey guys, here doing another commentary on CDH for you guys. Uh, there's nothing much to say. You know how the deal works. Sorry for those flashes, technical issues. So, just to go into the presentation of players, we have Noah on Nagila at starting. We have Ace on Mad Farm, uh, Jessica Timna, if you guys don't know. And Damon and Alex are both on Blue Farm, trying to be the nemesis of the table. So, for what I believe might be the interaction for this, is that the pressure is... Huh. It's weird, because both Blue Farms being last doesn't make them that much of a threat. So it gives both Ace and Noah time to develop. Mostly Noah, he's the one that wants the most advantage and the most time to try to settle down the board and assemble an offensive that is uh, actually considerable. So the Blue Farm needs to spend resources to answer it. Ace is kind of advantaged also being second because he's the riskiest of the decks it's not be not having blue for the defense it's uh hindering his whole plan but again being second gives him a tempo advantage that both blue farms don't have in this time i believe that unless alex and damon have a really explosive turn They'll both be kind of relegated to the slower, more controlish role than just being the threat until probably like turn two, three, when they can go crazy. So sparks are gonna fly at that time. I don't believe it's gonna be until then because they might need to answer whatever Ace and Noah are proposing to the table. On Noah's case, I think that he needs to hard mulligan for either early card draw in the sense of fish or rhystic study or a very yellow nagila whatever that works if like i'm saying that he should mulligan for mana Cred, soul ring or jewel lotus to really ramp him out well damon is already taking back the advantage of the tempo by getting a gemstone cavern as a pregame action so he's not that behind Noah starts a turn with a Taiga into a Noble Hierarch. It's a pretty classic Najila turn for a turn 2 Najila setup or Ristic Study if he has in his hand. Really typical. So Ace being on Mad Farm, I don't know the whole list, but so I can't really say what will be ideal initial turns. But as always, just deploying rocks, it's a fine turn. That's a bad lens. Into probably Sol Ring, maybe. Oh, it's an Impsil. So he's setting up to a turn to Dark Side. Maybe. Or at least just happening in hand is good enough for me. If I were Ace, just getting Dark Side, keep it in hand in case both Damon and Alex go crazy with the rocks as a setup. And also, that actually, if Damon and Alex read what's he, what he will be getting, they will not deploy as much stuff, so his dog side is not as threatening as it could be. That might be one of the lines they might take. But he okay, so he continues his turn by exiling a monkey. Okay, into a mana vault. Okay, that's a pretty good cool turn. So he set up a turn two at Nos with this line. Obviously, it's risky because he doesn't have that much defense. But I like this turn. Threatening, he's the one that should be proposing. Uh, like, should be threatening the board. I'm gonna win now, I'm gonna win now, I'm gonna win now. More than Blue Farm. Because of uh, speed or consistency. Damon goes absolutely insane with uh, Sol Ring into a Wish Cloud Talisman and the Mox Opal already being active thanks to the Metal Craft. 
So these guys are really into a really scary territory. Damon has no handle. It's only one card. But only having but having all that board, that means it's a turn two at nos. At least a threat is there. Yep, and pass the turn. It's a good decision of him. If that's a, an interaction, he might want to keep it open. So Alex starts with the underground C with a Chrome Mox exiling demonic betrayal. Sandra, sorry. So he goes back. And exile as a monkey and cast a team that turn one. Yep, so exile a monkey for turn one team that it's really good for rebuilding. And Ace is probably going to be the one that he's going to get slapped for since he doesn't have blockers, or probably Damon. Either of the two are fine. There's a high chance that they might not untap because Ace is setting up a, a nos. Mm -hmm. So he's just cracking uh, Noah on his turn, plays it with the foothills, cracks it, and waits until any, in case anyone has a, a opposition agent. But nobody has black, so there's no real way. Demon can do that read into oppo agent, but with only one card in hand, that's not really a threat. If I were Noah at this point, I would probably try to play a dork. Uh huh. Okay, so he's playing Utopia Sprawl into probably Taiga, so he can have a double blue or white there. Or even black would be make sense to me. Yep, so he names black. Taps out for Najila. This is incredibly risky from him, because, as I say again, the threat of Ace is real. He can win this turn with just slamming uh, Nad Nos. Okay, so... Here's, uh, yeah, he's, he played um, Windsweep Heath, and he's probably getting a Scrubland at this point. Yep, that's a Scrubland. And is he going to slam Adnos? Just say, screw it, it's time. Or does he have anything to protect it? Probably a Silence into Lotus Petal Adnos. Will be really strong at this point. It will secure his win, for sure. But he can also go crazy because, well, Alex did play Timna and that activates uh, Frisco membership. Yeah, there's the Adnos. Yeah, shocker. So there's a, the priority passing around that Damon has no responses. Alex does not have anything. So Noah is the one that should be with answers. He, it's the only hope they have. Okay. Whoa, it resolves. Actually, the turn, turn two at most resolves. And uh, in this case, it is really good if he flips a dock side because dock side gives him three, four, five mana. Oh, those better is really good. Into a consultation. Oh, Final Fortune. Final Fortune is huge. Angel Captain does nothing. Uh, Fire, bl uh, Fire Blast does nothing. Power Blast. Wheel does nothing. He wants mana at this point. Mm, that's a Pretos Grasp. Mm, he's flipping the wrong side of his deck. Mm, that's Calling, that doesn't do anything. Another counter, Tainted Pact. This is not looking good for Ace. Oh, LED, maybe? Oh, he killed himself with a pita! He flicked a pita and murdered himself! Oh, he committed Sudoku. No, 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 no. We have heard stories about this. And I'm so glad I caught it on camera. I'm so glad that this happens. Wow. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. He was almost there. He almost got it. But he had to go deeper. He was drawing really bad cards. So he could do like a low spell into. Yeah, he will be milling himself. This is the line he will be making. Milling three. And then calling the weak for four black. That will mill him three more into a cabal ritual. But doesn't do anything because he needs red for the 
underground bridge. Uh, yeah, well. Oh, he can wish claw. He can wish claw for a land. No, he played the land. So he can wish claw for more mana. But he's suicided, so I'm sorry, Ace. Next time will you do better? I'm sure of it. It was impressive. It was really impressive. It was telegraphed. But hey, greatness at any cost, right? Well, uh, we go to Damon that he's. Oh, end step? He's snapping Najila? He did he have mana for that? Oh no, he's doing it main phase. Maybe, yeah, because he threw the snap probably. Okay, so he's adding one green. He's floating one green, one black from the snap. Makes sense. He's filtering the colorless from the soul ring into more mana. It's a good, it's a good clean play. Then using one black. That green is most assuredly going to be used for uh, wish claw activation, unless it's another color that I'd missed. But. Let's see what happens. What is he going to do with this? Oh, I'm going to think about it. Wishclaw is pretty good right now with Opposition Agent. Hmm. You can give them Wishclaw, just drop an Oppo Agent. Hmm. Spicy. I'm sure it's somebody already. Somebody. It's all a clear, obvious player just thought about it. While Damon is considering his turn of how he's gonna murder the table. Well, now it's only two other players because A is suicided, but hey. Mm, so he's considering how much mana he has for his turn. What could he get? He could probably go for Adnos. That's. Uh huh. So he's getting his wish clawing for. So he's wish glowing for probably Dockside or Oh no it's a Oh Chain of Vapor, that's good. Hmm. Oh he's gonna bounce everything res resetting his rocks. That's a oh black is the storm? No, black is the mana, yes. So he bounces the Mox Opal, probably sack something for the Sol Ring, yes. It's a plus one mana, so it's a good play. Oh, yep, yeah, so he's going to second the third land and getting his Wish Glow back. So, does he have the mana for it? Hmm, that's an interesting thing. So. Maybe he only needed to bounce to... Th no, he needed a wish clutch to get something back. So at this point he needs to cast everything and that will leave him without mana open. Mm, that wasn't... I don't think it was that good, yeah. You play one with Sol Ring and Mox Opal because they're free. Two colorless... yeah, we can get one colorless on one for the wish claw. This means Obmox Opal is back activated. With one colorless, he can just fetch again. Yeah, holding priority as black, probably. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's thinking about the color right now. And I would probably get red. I'll probably get red because that also leaves the line of uh, bridge. That he can recast, uh, probably no. That's bad. Recasting the gene of vapor is bad. Mm -hmm. mm, well, he's trying to go for it. The safer play was as the, some of the players are discussing that he could just slam Timna and say go, keeping the wishful talisman, and for the next turn, being basically foolproof that he will go off maybe even with defense if Timna is uh, agreeable with him mm -hmm. so 
Mm -hmm. So what's it going to be? They're still discussing on what the possibilities are. He at this point has what? Only one mana open? It all boils down to what's in his hand and what he could get from that. Because if that's, like, I don't know, Dark Grid, it doesn't do anything because it's a four mana. Hmm. 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 That's curious. No, if it's, if that's Dark Grid, then the the play is incredibly easy, of casting Dark Grid, then getting Underworld Breach, and just recasting stuff from there. Maybe. Hmm. What's the other thing he could do with what? only one black? Hmm. What will it be? That Moxopal is now unactivated. What's, oh, he's going back? Oh, he's going back to the turn before he casts the, the Wish Claw. He casts Wish Claw and then one colorless to get the Wish Claw activation. Yeah, that's correct. That was the, the right line. But he already used that mana for casting the Witch Claw. Unless I missed something? What would be the play now? It's I would probably get Dogside at this point and try to do something. Dogside does one, two, a solid plus one. Ugh. Unless the filtering of mana is important. You get plus one and mana of any color. That's big. Mm -hmm. So the wish claw goes to Noah. Makes makes a lot of sense to me because Makes sense. The threat of a blue farm with a free wish claw activation is like, mm, it's too risky. Noah is uh, kind of happy about it. So. Oh, he's getting LED. The color he added with uh, Mox Opal did not matter. Just cracking it for a Chrome. So what was the last card on his hand? That's what I'm interested in. Oh, it's a red metal blast. Okay, okay, okay. So it was defense. It was defense. Right, right, right. Good, 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 good. So Alex is going to DT, and the play of not giving him a wish claw was insanely good. But it's kind of like uh, which one is the one of the lesser evils giving a wish, uh, wish claw to? If I'm Noah, when I activate Wishclaw, I probably give it back to Damon because he blew up two of his lands. His Mox Opal is useless. And it's only Sol Ring that is relevant. And he's Hellbent. So... Yeah, probably players want to play around that by not casting multiple things. Noah's turn is most assuredly going to be playing Agila as I go. He doesn't need, need to do anything. Damon is going to continuously slap Alex since he's being the threat here. Mm -hmm. So he's going to play a mana creep that he got from DT. Mm -hmm. So that's his turn. Slam Stimna at Noah. Draws a card and just passes. On Noah's turn, he untaps. Oh, so Alex gave him a free card. I, I have no idea why Alex played that mana crypt unless he needed the colorless for, I don't know, Delay, Hull Breacher, Oppo Agent. That he can because Black Chromox adds blue and black. 
If that's the case, then it makes sense. Because he can also cannot answer the Chrome trigger since it's on the stack before the manacle resolves. Hmm, so possible place for Noah. Now it'll be probably crack it for statistic study. Damon is gonna give him cards for sure. It all rests also on Alex not having a whole bridge to employ in his hand. So what's he getting? Is that a soul ring? Yeah, he's playing a soul ring, activating the soul ring, and a Gilda for uh, that doesn't add red, my my friend. That doesn't add red. Uh, Noble Harak doesn't add red, my friend. You need to tell the Taiga. Mm, that's a sketch play. But whatever. Oh, Demon top decks the land. Ooh, that's huge. Place a talisman. That, oh, he's back in the game. He's back in the game, for sure. Oh, it's a wheel. Ooh. Good thing that Noah played the Najila. Hmm, so there's a response from Noah, and he called Bridges in response. So that basically is negating. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought for a second he would be having a warring call Bridges, but no. It's an intuition from Alex, which is still a real threat. So intuition doesn't do anything. Well, no, no sorry. Intuition resolves. Nobody has a response for intuition. This is incredibly interesting because... No, he can choose not to wheel. Yeah, he can choose not to wheel and I'm fine. He still will choose not to wheel because of Hall Breacher. If Noah is smart, he just says one and wheels for one, one life. Huge. <laughs> uh, sign me up for that one. Also, there's probably... No, because it's the... Uh, no, he only needs to say one. If he doesn't wheel, whatever. Damon will never be paying life for that one. One of the probably... One of the possible things he can do is getting a force of will to counter the Hull Breacher. No, but Alex is already saying, hey, yeah, I don't have blue cards for Force of Will when Damon asked him. But, mm hmm. He might pact of negation for it? Mm, but if he pays for it, he will tap out. And this will give Noah so much advantage. Hmm. What's it gonna be? Is it possibly uh, combo pieces? So he gets Breach, Sabines, and Pact of Negation. Hmm. Hmm. So they're discussing that Noah can get the Revy, but why will you get the Revy that needs to hit also be critical mass of creatures when you can get nature's will and that's the easiest way to activate Najila Winkon? Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. Also, Najila doesn't have white producing mana from the lands. That's big. He cannot win unless he top takes land. If Noah wills, which 100% will. Mm -hmm. So Alex is getting those three cards and Damon is giving him the pact for the Hall Breacher. 
Here's the deal. Does Noah have deflecting sweat or fears? Oh no, he doesn't have anything. There's no response from that. Okay. Okay. It just happens, I guess. Hmm. Here comes the numbers. It's I can't read whatever Noah said. Damon paid fifteen. Noah played Noah paid twenty. Wow. Oh, they made a man game so Alex will not wheel. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. So Noah is discarding the Revy, Oracle, and Noxus Revival. Huh. I probably would have Noxus Revival at land, uh, maybe, to make sure that you will draw the white mana that you need. But if you play a wheel, there's high chance that you're gonna get that white mana that you need from lands to play, get the nature's wheel and go off with that. The question is that Damon is saying they should leave their blockers back. Hmm, but Alex, Alex is gonna tap out for to pay for his, his uh, pact negation, so he can't do anything. The thing is that mm, that's so weird because. There's the Noble Hierarch. There's a Noble Hierarch trigger, Exalted trigger, that makes Timna basically a useless blocker for Najila. Okay, so Damon just uh, play, plays the fish and says go. Okay, so Alex is calling that it's tapped out. And he has his F sixing with no answers. So if Noah is called fishing, the easiest thing he's revealing basically all his cards. And he's calling silence and stuff. If he just drops silence, fetches uh, nature's will, and that's it. Okay, so Noah wins. Good, good for him. It's good to be having Najil uh, scoring boards against Blue Farm. Impressive win, congrats.